Hey guys, Sakura here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys. Click the link in the description below. Hey chat, how you doing? We're back. Back with one of my favorite games of them all. Man, this is one of my this is one of my all-time favorite games. There's also a bikes extension which was in the DLC. We're gonna we're gonna start a bit. Actually, let's start with the DLC because that stuff is actually way more fun. Look at this. I love look at the graphics man. It looks so damn good. Usually I don't really care about graphics too much, but in this game. It is out of this world. It actually looks so fantastic. This game does two, actually three things fantastically. Car culture, like the way it celebrates cars is fantastic. Then you have an insane amount of graphics, like the game looks really good. And you have some really strong sound model as well. So the level 38 objective is Lake Shoji reversed in a BMW S1000. So you got those challenges too. Not only do you have to do everything here, but you also want to get those other objectives down there to increase your level even further. There were so many little things to do everywhere. Here's like the overview. That was the that was the basic game. The basic game was like 225 stars, and this here is all DLC, new cars, new tracks. There was so much DLC and so much support for this game, and it it cost. Barely nothing. It was really cheap. I think all of this DLC together was 20 bucks. I really love the imaginative tracks of this game. Like, they were so good. And you know what I like? You can look around, even down, down in your car. Rather than looking back, which is a separate button, looking back, you can actually look down. Yeah, Drive Club sold really well. The, the, reason, they, the, the reason they closed this game, because it was competing, it was competing against Gran Turismo. Like, it made no sense to have two premier racing franchises on one console. Yo, FXXK, my favorite car. Oh shit, that was risky. Look at this, he actually enters the car correctly too. Like, he didn't open the door there and, you know, get, got in. He actually stepped into the car, like he would be. You know, going that fast into a corner with this car, I do imagine it to spin. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> that is exactly what I was expecting in this car. Oh, another, see, so many new tracks. Another new track you haven't seen yet. Like, we've been playing for nearly two hours, and we've been playing on different tracks at all time. The variety in tracks is also amazing. Oh yeah, P1 GTR, let's fucking go. This was the first game that featured not only uh, P1, I think I played before, but I played the P1 GTR. Oh yes, we need a bigger wing. <laughs> Seriously, man, you've got to be kidding me, dude. <sighs> Would you kindly go fuck yourself? <laughs> Holy fuck! How's your car? Ah <laughs> shit! <laughs> Wee! Yeah, you can burn out too if you want to. Oh god! Mmm, pain. The car is actually lacking quite a bit of grip in comparison to the other hypercars. You know, I'm trying to go super fast, and this car is just lacking a little bit in the grip department. That was my fault. Uh, yeah, servers down too. Man, I love playing this game online. Because every time, th there were even events, there were community events going on. Where you could set a best time. And it could be like the first place in that event. Like, I actually took first place in community events very often. Haha, <laughs> this guy's so brutal. One horsepower for every kilo. I really underestimate how, how much power this car has. How many horsepower does the Regera have? 1500 horsepower, <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, you've got to be kidding me, man. This is this is something that I didn't do much too uh, far yet, but yeah, that's a, it's a drift event. In the speed zones, you gotta go fast for more points, and in drift zones, you gotta drift to get the points. Oh boy. 
I gotta say the drift events are kind of cool. You need to go fast in the speed zones and get drift in the drift zones. You can't really, you can't really cheese the game in any way because of that. You know what's funny? All these images that you see in the menus, those are community images that were taken by the community. Every single one that you see here was updated from the community. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> wow, we are we are just enough for the gold medal. Customization in this game, only livery customization. You can change the livery as much as you like, that it's says pretty powerful when it comes to that, but yeah. Only livery customization when it comes to the cars. Drive Club is underrated? For sure, man. This is one of PlayStation 4's hidden gems, just as I said in the title. This game is one of the most underappreciated racing games of all time. Renault Desire. Desire? Wait, isn't that an electric car? Oh yeah, that's an electric car. You can't hear it. I'll show you the most difficult controlled car in this game. This car is really quick, but also very hard to control. The aerial atom is kind of bonkers. Usually a car I would like for this type of event is either the back mono or even the caterham. The caterham is also super groovy. Yeah, I'm not gonna use this kind of rain. Whoa, okay. Okay, gotta be fast here. It's average speed off, so the game challenges you to do certain things all the time. Right now it wants us to stay above a certain average speed. One thing that I love about Drive Club, it gets you into so many different tracks. If you actually did buy the DLC, you're gonna be sent all over the world in so many different cars. The content is definitely on point. Oh, hot hatches and some weird cars like this one. The Peugeot Onyx Concept. Definitely does look like a concept car. Okay, let's let's be let's be real here. What are you what are you looking for? You know, what else would you like to have in Drive Club to make it a better game? Because it really is for car enthusiasts. You have a whole bunch of different tracks, cars, sounds are great, visuals are fantastic. And look at the soundtrack. This is like the game soundtrack you're listening to right now. Ooh, that's our first time in the 599. Fuck yeah. <laughs> also a really damn looking good track car. Oh, this car is a joy to drive. There's so much grip. Hear the sound of this car. Woohoo! Shit. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Smooth. Smooth overtake. I remember at the time when the game was out, people were posting Drive Club pictures and people thought it w they were real-life pictures. Like, they fooled so many people with drive club pictures as <laughs> real-life ones. Okay, I don't think we had a Golf yet. Remember the concept Golf? That thing, that prototype, I think was sold for 2.6 million pounds. Absolutely insane. <laughs> Until the very end. Oh, shit. Mm. I, think <laughs> I think we're gonna do that again. Okay, you guys want the full experience? Get ready for this. This is how I played the game all the time. There are so few games where I really enjoy cockpit camera, but to turn the HUD off, there's a button that lets you turn off the HUD. You can turn it back on if you want to, so you don't have to have it permanently off, you don't have to have it permanently on. And you can play this game in VR. Like, if you have this game in a PlayStation VR headset, you can. Oh shit, I remember! Oh, they did rem They did put in the Motorstorm Wombat. Oh, I totally forgot about that. It is the only card that does not get a penalty for cutting. And it has nose. <laughs> that was such a fun... That was such a fun addition to the game. In its class, the buggy was sometimes the fastest, simply because you were able to cut away, away everything. Oh, <laughs> fun. Oh, and I was actually checking two ton performance cars. Seriously, the GTR weighs 2.2 tons. I seriously thought the GTR would be a, a lighter car. I never really looked at that that stat in particular. All right, let's call the stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Is this gonna finish up Drive Club for me? <laughs> we only got half of the gold stars. Like if you consider, if you consider the entire game, we did about half. And with that, we say goodbye to Drive Club in the Racing Marathon. We're gonna do something else tomorrow.
So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Good night. We'll come back tomorrow. And good night.